So right before we get started, I just want to point out that all the accessories that you'll see in this video is what I bought, except the Falcon accessories because they sent that over to me for evaluation and it actually works pretty well with this setup. So with that in mind, let's get building. Now, first things first, here's the iPhone 15 and let me put on a D brand skin. Wow, okay. So D brand, when you buy a D brand skin, it seems like it comes with two skins and one seems to be just a skin for the plate and the other seems to wrap around the whole entire body but the what is this purchased purchase deliver install and how to okay you know what i already know how to install this so i'm a professional let's get this thing started all right so first thing i'm gonna do is wipe this all down All right, everything is wiped down and I'm going to first things first, put the... That was really easy. Okay, let me put on the body one moment. Hoo -hoo, this is kind of tight actually. Deep red. Woo, and there we go. So when you apply the skin, you need to use your hair dryer to kind of glue it down. So let me turn my hair dryer on low and glue it down. And there you have it, the D brand on your iPhone. So now that the D brand skin is applied, the cage I'll be using for my beetle rig is this newer cage right over here. And the reason why I really like this newer cage is because it has a 67 millimeter filter thread right here. So I can apply my mirrorless filter onto this system with a stepper ring. If it's kind of too large, I will definitely demonstrate that in a moment, but let me apply the iPhone to the newer cage. So one moment. So the way this is accessible is by Turning that on, let me slide this in. And then you lock it in like that. And there you have it, look at that. That is pretty cool. And this is why I bought the D brand skin because I wanna cover up the back of the phone to, to protect it a little bit from scratches. So with the skin, pretty much rest assured there'll be no scratches on the phone. And it looks pretty cool actually, don't you think? Now that we have the iPhone applied to the newer cage, let's apply a variable ND filter onto the cage because when you're filming outdoors, lighting conditions will always change on you. And also the higher ISO performance on the Apple video needs a variable ND to compensate it. So with that said, I did pick up the Nisi filter because this filter right here, it's true color. Because if you end up buying a filter like this right here, a Polo Pro filter, this will introduce a color cast. Here is an example. Here is without any filters. Here is the Nisi filter. And here is the Polar Pro filter. Now keep in mind, my wall is white. So all that color cast you just saw, is gonna be on all your footage. So make sure you know the difference between a Polar Pro and a Nisi True Color Filter. Now, let me show you guys how to apply this onto the rig. One moment. And here is the variable ND filter applied. Here is one to five stops. Pretty cool. And if you want, you could put up to nine stop by applying another filter on top. So let me show you guys right quick. You go up to five to nine stops with this additional filter right over here. Now, if you're like filming in a bright scenario outdoors and your ISO is pretty high, definitely five to nine stops is definitely gonna help you out. Also, this kit comes with a black mist filter. So if you want your image to look a little bit soft, definitely get a black mist filter. And also a cool thing is you could apply other brands onto the system. You don't necessarily need to stick with Nisi. You could apply a Tiffin black mist at the bottom of this filter and then apply 
the variable ND on top of that. So you don't need to actually go by the brand. So keep that in mind. I think that the newer Polo Pro, they have a new release plate and those does not go backwards compatible. So the Polo Pro system is kind of um, a little complex for some of the beginners out there, but if you know what you're doing, you kind of know which one to get. So let me move this out the way. Let's talk about step out rings for this cage right here, because if you are using a filter that's over the 67 millimeter filter thread that comes with this cage right here, you could always plug in a step out ring. Let me show you guys right quick. 67, 72, 72 to 82, which is the size of this Polar Pro. This is an 82 millimeter filter thread. Let me show you guys right quick. So this is 67 mil. We're going to apply 67 to 72, 72 to 82, and here we go. And there you have it. You have a 82 millimeter filter thread onto a 67 millimeter filter thread with a stepper ring and it works pretty nice so this is one of the main reasons why i love this cage because of this particular feature right here now that we have the stepper rings out the way let me show you guys the next accessory on the list this is just a simple tripod leg by manfrotto it has a quarter screw mount is adjustable as you can see and with the newer rig right here the cage it has one two three there's three quarter screws right here there's also two on top and a hot shoe if you want for mics also you got one two three right here as well and two at the bottom so you got three quarter screws left to right two on the top and two on the bottom so with this leg i could screw it right over here at the bottom yeah let me do the bottom right here and voila there we have it. And believe it or not, this is the rig that I use to record my video for Kodak that will be released in two weeks. And the reason why I kept it kind of like very low key, discreet, not like crazy rigged out is because I was filming in a lot of business areas where you're not allowed to film. And also there's, there's a lot of people in those areas. So you want to be discreet in and out real quick. You don't want to have so much showing that will attract attention and so with that said this is my whole setup for that particular day also some of you guys might be wondering how about doing selfies since you can't see yourself i mean this is what 13 millimeters all you have to do is look at the lens and you're pretty much in focus like am i in focus right now i hope i'm in focus but if i could see the lens and the lens could see me i could just you know do my video right now and then later on just zoom in crop and post so that's what i would do and it's i mean there's really no 13 millimeter that is really wide so yeah there we have it now the next accessory that i want to show you guys is audio so we know that iphone they removed the audio jack but you can always get the USB C right here and an audio port right there so let me plug this in and this is here we go. And there you have it, a really cheap, portable, excellent microphone for your iPhone video rig. This is by Mobile. This is really popular on the market for vloggers. Also, let me show you guys from the top view. You can see the audio peaks right there. So with that said, it is actually using the audio from the mic. Now, the reason why I kept it something so simple is because if you get something really big, it might attract a lot of people out there. So just keep in mind of your surroundings. But uh, if you want to be really low key, get yourself some wireless microphones right over here. So one moment. And as you can see, we have everything connected. You can check the audio right here. And once you get it clipped on your hoodie, your sweater, your shirt, you can start talking to yourself. No one will ever know. Um, very discreet. The only thing that I would probably change is to find a black cable, not a red cable, because it looks like it sticks out a lot. 
and there you have it. And the reason why I think people actually should invest on a wireless microphone system for the iPhone video rig is because you may be battling with environment noise, such as traffic, people talking around you, or like music in the background. If you want the cleanest output in your video, definitely get yourself a wireless microphone, such as this from Rode. This is the Wireless Pro. So with that said, Let's take a look at the next accessory. Now this next unit, this is a Leap Lumen. This is basically a iPhone holder or a camera holder. Um, you have a quarter screw in the back, quarter screw at the bottom, a little hot shoe slot right there. Let me show you guys how I'm gonna use it. One moment. I'm gonna plug this in like this. Tie this up. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Make sure when you do tighten this up, do not tighten up next to the buttons. You'll be calling your emergency line. But anyways, you could use it this way with the Manfrotto and the Leap Lumen right here. Also, if you want to apply your audio equipment, let me show you guys right quick. Very intuitive, very easy to use. And also another reason why I love this Leap Lumen is because of these quarter screws in the back. Let me show you guys what I'm planning to do. One moment. Here is my camera backpack. This is the Brevity. Let me show you guys real quick. Here is the Falcam. They sent this over to me for evaluation and I really love this rig right here. This is the half cage. This is the quick release for your book bag. One moment. Now here is some quick release place for the Falcam. They're interchangeable in their system. So let me show you guys real quick. I'm going to use my little tool set, right? That I got from Small Rig. Let me unplug this out. I'm going to be screwing on the release plate behind the Leap Lumen. Here is the backpack quick release right here. One second. Let me show you guys. Make sure you wrap this plastic piece at the bottom of the backpack to run the brevity. Lock it in and tighten it up just like that. And then close it as so. And there we go. So here's a quick release plate right over here. Let me show you guys how it works. You plug it in as so. So if you guys are like walking and you plan to just record your walk, this is the best case scenario right over here. If you want it vertical, very easy. Let me show you guys. And there we go. We got vertical right here. It's really simple. Just make sure you preset your settings, look at the actual video, and then apply it onto your backpack. This is such a great setup right here. Here's their half cage system. Let me unlock it. And this is pocketable, so. I just installed another quick plug release underneath the Leap Lumen. And there you go, look at that. You have a half cage right over here. Very simple, very easy, pocketable, foldable. Also, this is really adjustable if you want. And already, I could apply a microphone here. Plug in your iPhone. I still have the receiver right here. Can you guys see me? Look at that. This is the half cage system with the newer cage. And there we go. This is pretty cool setup right here. If I was going outdoors and I wanted more of a rugged setup. Look at that. It's like, it sits on the table as so. No problem right there. Very low key, very foldable. That's the key here. This is all foldable, modular. You don't need to use it all at once, but you can if you want to, depending on the situation, as we mentioned before, if you're like in a very, you know, busy area, or if it's like a private property building with a bunch of security guards, you may need something much more low key, but uh, definitely with the iPhone, video recording these days is getting pretty crazy. And you know what? Let me give you guys a bonus, one moment. So for this portion, I'm gonna show you guys some cons about this cage and also some accessories you could buy for your iPhone if you're thinking about expanding the storage and also the battery capacity. Let me show you guys real quick. Number one, this newer cage, one con is I cannot stick my USB-C 
SD card reader. Can't do it. It's stuck, right? Also, if I want to do the 180 technique, I can do it as well. So in order for this to actually happen, you need a USB-C male and a female right there. And there you go. You could, you could actually plug this in. It will just work just like as so, but it's kind of weird to have this stick out. Um, let me take this out right quick. One moment. You could do the 180 to the female USB-C. Boom. And then boom. And there you go. You could extend your storage space of your iPhone to the SD card reader right here. This is great for H.265. Perfect for that. So let's say if you want to connect an SSD drive, they all come in various sizes, obviously. Let me plug this in right here. This is a male to male USB-C. Here is a cable right here. Plug that in. You could definitely plug in your SSD drive and save all your film onto this SSD. But the problem is, it is very snug right over here. So definitely get yourself some Velcro tape and just tape it down and you should be good to go. Now, if you have like an external battery, you want to extend the actual power. For this cage, it is not possible. So it's really snug right there due to this filter. So, so once I remove the filter off the phone, the battery, if you plan to use a battery, external battery, it does not fit that well. It will just come off as so. So what you end up needing to do is get yourself a Velcro tape and then you just Velcro at the bottom, Velcro here, boom, boom, and then plug in the cable. And then it will just charge. There we go, it is charging right there as you can see. Oh yeah, one more thing before I forget. So another thing I wanna show you guys is for the release plate right here, you could put on these Peak Design straps. Let me show you guys real quick. Put it in here, slide it in there. And boom. And then you could attach this to the bottom of the phone if you want. And then once you have the release place, you could just latch onto this. Boom. Get yourself some Peak Design strap. Boom. Wrap this baby around. And then you can start filming as so. Also, don't forget, put your tripod stand. And there we have it. Look at this. I have the Falcam attached to my newer cage. Also with the Peak Design straps attached to the Falcam quick release plate. With this combo already, we could be like this, right? I look like a Taurus. And then if, if I want to start filming my surroundings, I could start filming my surroundings, I have pivot points right here on my neck to control the shakiness with my hands. Everything is more stabilized right now. I could do my magic, start recording what I need. And if I want, I could put it on a table. And throughout this whole journey that we just embarked on, you guys already know, there's a lot of designs out there. So make sure you do your homework. This is not the end all be all. Hopefully you guys learned something in this video. Definitely click like and subscribe. And I hope I see you guys next one, all right? Take it easy. Peace.